Hey guys, I'm John Mack. Um, I'm one of the developers on Soundshapes. Um, I'm gonna show you the editor today. Uh, I'm gonna make like a one screen demo uh, with some music and then we'll play through the level. So let's get to it. All right, so just, okay, we got sound. Sounds good. All right, let's do this. So, uh, so here's my toolbox. Like when you start the level, it's all blank like this. Uh, you can go in here and you have your toolbox. You have a bunch of instruments to play around with. Uh, some terrain entities, creatures that make sounds. I I'll get into this. Well, you'll see me using it, so it'll become apparent. All right, let's just start a little minimal here. And then we'll bring it together at the end. Let's get some texture going. Here. So soothing. I try not to be so sarcastic. Um, so I'm gonna bust in some terrains here just to give a little space for the player to jump on, just kind of set up the level a little bit. I mean, it's cool because you can you can sort of make the level, um, you can make the music first and then make the level around it, or what I'm doing here, I'm sort of making the level first and then, uh, and then I'll add in the music, kind of whatever strikes your fancy, whatever inspires you. I'm just gonna break out this little gear thing. Okay, it's pretty sparse right now. Um, there's some pixels from Super Brothers. Um, collaborated with Jimmy Guthrie for the Super Brothers Jimmy Guthrie record in the game. So what's cool about some of these entities is you can you kind of record your own pattern onto them. Uh, I'll just demonstrate that now. I just you know I just do something crazy. Yeah, let's just stick with that. I don't know. Definitely <laughs> not too terrible. Um, get some high hats going. Maybe I should have put those last because I'm going to put some notes down later. These are pixel, pixel jam pixels. So two schools of thought on the pixels here. Um, there's like different colors you can play with. Um, got, I kind of like this monochrome one, but you know, there's colors from all throughout the game that you can try. I'm just going to stick it here. All right, let's start adding in some stuff here. Let's get a beat going. Courtesy of Dead Mouse. Yeah. Feel like a little something. Yeah, man. You know, I, I changed my. I'm gonna calm this down a bit. I think hear the drums a bit better. All right. Oops. So I'm using the back touch to move and, and, and stretch, like resize and rotate things. You can also use the, the D-pad and analog sticks, uh, so you can get like really fine control. It's kind of nice to have that combination. All right, let's get some vocals going. Pretty cool. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna put the spawn point down and give the level a shot. So I just press this button. There. Oh man, hold on. So you just go in and out of editing like that. It's really uh, quick, quick iteration. You don't have to like load, load the level to play it. You know? Like the juicy, tasty little notes. That's cool. Okay, so we can fill out our level. So the stuff in this category is. Uh, all their decorations. So it doesn't make music, but it's sort of there to just let you uh, visually fill out the level. Just splatter these stars everywhere. Mix them up a bit there. Some clouds. Vic Cloud, Vic from Kathy. Did some art for a game. He's also doing art for Super Time Force. 
one. Alright, so let's check this out. Yeah, it's really easy to make with the level here. Um, you can also go and uh, sort of scroll around and sort of make the level as big as you want. Um, yeah, let's, let's, let's try some other stuff here. Let's get some crazy beats. I like the crazy beats. So, some crazy beats for you. So uh, these, oh actually I guess I should tell you about these. These are um, loop notes. I've been putting loop notes down. That, if I just put them all in a row, you'll hear like, sort of plays a different loop. Well, what's cool about them is you can sort of you can uh, you can sort of mix and match between the rows and get these really neat. Uh, I'm just sort of doing this randomly, seeing what happens. Kind of like a little warped drum beat there. Pretty cool. Oops, I'm not sure if you'll be able to hear this. Turn up the bass if you can. A little bass sound. Uh, so you can like, you have control of the BPM and the transpose and the scale, you can change those, so try a little slower maybe. This is the underwater mode. Alright. I guess I don't have enough fun. Let's try it a little faster. Sometimes you just gotta speed it up or slow it down, you know? Just give it a shot. A lot of fun experimentation to do. So yeah, that's... It's the editor. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. Did, did I cover everything? <laughs> yeah. yeah.